Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guide. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google account lock on an Android device. It's also known as the FRP lock for factory reset protection. And now here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Tab E that is originally from Verizon here in the U.S. And this device does have the Google account lock enabled. As we can see here, as we're going through the setup process, we get to the screen that tells us that it was reset. And to be able to continue using the device, we have to sign in with the previous Google account that was on it. And that's basically what the Google lock consists of. Google added this back in about Android 5 or so to combat some of the theft and the fraud that happens around mobile devices these days forcing you to sign back into the same account that was on the device previously whenever a factory reset is done without first removing the account. We're making this video to let all of our customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove the lock from this specific model, and that's actually exactly what we're doing right here right now while the device is plugged in via the USB cable. We're just finishing up the last steps here, and then after it's done, we should be able to see that we can restart the device and then get all the way through the setup process without seeing that lock. While it's restarting here, I should mention that this is something that we can do for just about anyone anywhere in the world, so you don't necessarily need to be here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect to you right through the internet and do the exact same procedure that we did right here. So as it boots up here, once that finishes, we'll be able to start going through the setup steps again and then we should be able to see that we can get all the way through to the home screen. Not quite sure why that's taking so long since we just had it on and working. But we don't have any other options for proceeding, so we're just going to have to sit and wait, unfortunately. All right, there we go. Sorry about that delay there, but we are now able to start going through all of the setup steps. So we're gonna agree to the terms and conditions and continue, and we don't need to activate it, so we can skip that. And we can also skip the Wi-Fi. And then we're gonna go through checking for updates. And now this part is normally where we would have seen the Google lock before, so the fact that it's going to go on past that and then just ask for any Google account, that is a very good sign. So as you notice, it now just asks us to sign in with any account rather than specifically requesting the one that was on there before. So we're just going to go ahead and skip that because we don't need a Google account to continue. And then as we keep going, we don't need a name. We don't need a screen lock. And then Google services. And then we don't need email, so we can just skip that. Okay, there we go. So we are now all the way through the setup process. We're now booted up at the home screen. We have full access to all the apps and settings and features, and it's just like a brand new device that never had the Google lock on there. While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we're working with. So we do indeed here have a Samsung Galaxy Tab E, and then this one specifically came with 32 gigs of storage as the default, 
instead i think the base model only had 16 so that's the difference there and then that model number there the t378v is what we're specifically working with so if you have one of those that has the google account lock enabled and you need help getting it removed we would love to help you out with that so go ahead and get in touch with us all of our contact information will be right down in the video description and i'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well Make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel while you're here, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.